their Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to tap into your person's energy, the person you're thinking about. We'll see what we can find out, what we can dig up. And you know what? I just want to uh, say that, you know, I am not a psychologist. or psych I don't have any kind of medical degree or anything. Uh, this is just for entertainment purposes. Take, take it if it seems to resonate with you. You know, leave if it doesn't. It is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. And I'm not, you know, it's, so just because I have that Sigmund Freud on the thumbnail, I just figured I had to say that. But I, I like that picture, so <laughs> I put it up. Okay, guys, so let's let's see what we're going to find out here. Let's see what the challenge is with this person that's on your mind. If you don't have someone on your mind, it's probably not for you. But, you know, let's see. We have here, ooh, so we might be dealing with the King of Pentacles. So this might be another Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could be financially well off here. Um, this person's on the luxury boat here. Just having a good old time. You have um, the King of Pentacles is the most financially stable of all the court cards. And then we have here the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Something else with, let me get, let me put one more card down then we'll go into this one. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and we have the Two of Cups. Hmm. So, the Wheel of Fortune, it looks like, see this card here? Someone feels like they're on the hamster wheel now. You know, it's like you're, you're on the hamster wheel of life, and it's like, when do you get off? So, what is destined here? What's going on with this challenge? There's something here that someone feels like they're trapped in a situation. Two of Cups, a partnership. It feels like someone wants this partnership. I'm reading this deck really intuitively. I'm not really following the, you know, what these cards are supposed to mean as far as a book reading and book book interpretation. I'm d just doing my own thing. I normally do that anyway, but um, I'm really not, you know. Yeah, I'm just going with the flow here and listening to the angels and the guides more than anything. So if I'm saying something that's not familiar with what you read in the book, well, I'm not doing that, so let's see. Let's see here. We have, there is something, there is a change. There's a challenge going on right now, but there's a change in pro progress here. I cannot speak, I couldn't speak in the Aquarius one. I was, wasn't too bad in Sag Sagittarius, but now back to this one. I don't know if someone's having a hard time speaking, but I'm having a hard time. So here, there's someone and there's something, there's a change in flight. We have a butterfly in flight. So something is in the process of changing here. But it's a challenge. Almost feels like this person is enjoying this life of luxury. What is that old saying? Life of Riley? Yeah, life of Riley, I think it is. Um, I have, you know, I have some older guides that hang around too that are like, and you know, they give me their interpretation of their timeline you know so they'll tell me things from their time and um so there's something here about this person they feel like they're stuck in something here there's just they're stuck in something they're supposed to they, it feels like someone feels like they were destined for it but they don't feel like they were destined for it and they want to get off the hamster wheel and then there's your connection here that they feel very close with you. But they're stuck in something here. But we'll see what we get here. First, let's um get some words on this um King of Cups. I would say they have a lot of love for you, though. We have here healing, desire, options. Okay. This person probably always has options, but I don't think it's options as far as different people. I think it's they're, they're trying to figure out, they want to heal something here with you. They have this desire, but they're trying to figure out which is the best way to go about it. I think if this person could get anybody they want, but that's not what they're focused on. They're, they're focused on you. Okay, let's see. Let's go into the past. What happened in the past? So we have here, okay, this fool, I like this fool. This is someone that maybe someone just went about something very haphazardly, is what I want to say, because this person got dressed that way. <laughs> Look at that. Missing a shoe, 
and when he's got an animal and there's something in his his little suitcase he closed it up like this person is totally oblivious to something and that's the energy i'm picking up with this person are they like sort of, i don't want, i don't want to say scattered brain but sort of scattered i guess with their energy or their thinking um we have here the hangman okay we have a male stripper here is that the case or is this someone that you could you could picture them doing that i almost feel like this person if they had their way and if it wouldn't you know if there's other people that didn't have any way, anything to say about they would ha actually probably like to do that i don't think they are a male stripper or a male dancer but i think they would enjoy doing it it'd be like yeah that would be fun so in the past, we have a person here that's sort of like scattered and they're not really making up their mind. They're procrastinating because they don't really know what to do. So they might be doing some weird stuff. Why do I feel they could also be trying to trigger their family? Just like doing things here and there just to sort of piss them off. <laughs> so we have here, we have the Empress and we have the Three of Wands. I think this person sees you as their empress. Male or female, doesn't matter. This is the energy. It's like you're someone important. You're someone they want to cater to. You're someone they want to give to. And they would like to make... And they want to call you. See this three of wands? To me, this I don't know if he's just has his hand on his ear or if he has a phone in his ear there. But it looks like... I feel like someone wants to call someone. They're waiting to be able to make that phone call. Now, this was in the past energy. Okay. Okay, let's see what's happening in the present. <clears throat> this also could have something to do with a mother here, but... I'm not really feeling that so much. Okay, we have here at the Tower and the High Priestess. Who just had this? And I shuffled these cards up too. Um, there's some kind of shocking... Something's happening in the present. Someone's very intuitive or there's a secret that's coming out in the present. So you could take it both ways. You could, it could actually mean there's something shocking happening. Aries, Scorpio energy with the Tower... Something unexpected suddenly happening in the present that's being revealed because there was a secret. Now, the high priestess could be secrets, but it also could be someone's intuition. So probably there's a secret being revealed, but someone's intuition already told them this was going to happen. That someone knew, someone knew. Uh, Virgo Cancer Energy with the high priestess. And we have here the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's something happening now that's going to help to have a new start, a fresh start passionate start with the ace of wands this could be building something new starting something st starting something from scratch here this is like planting the plant here we uh, the seeds have already produced this plant now it's time to put the plant together here put it in the ground water it take care of it so i feel like there's a new start here that's starting now and it might be surprising to people something coming out whatever this is um something being revealed there was a secret if you're intuitive then you already know about this of course they could have told you they're going to do this but i don't know if they did for some they might have told you they're going to do this but i'm feeling more like because of the high priestess this is saying your intuition's telling you not that they're telling you okay let's see about the future Okay, so we have here the Four of Cups. Did this person take too long? They're coming in with an offer, but they're not sure if you're going to accept it. Or maybe there's some kind of um, conditions with this. We have here Justice, but okay, they want to make things right. They want a contract. Justice Libra, trying to make things right, trying to work on something. They, they are 
trying to put something they might be trying to put together an offer we have the page of pentacles yeah they want to definitely offer you something here They want to show you something. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. So in the future, they want to make things right with you. They want to balance things out. They want to come in. They want to get married. They want a contract. But it's there's something to this. It feels like there's going to be, yeah, but we're going to have to do it this way. This way. Come on. Why do I feel like it's almost going to be like a secret wedding or a secret marriage? I don't like that. Let's see. Um, the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have here the angel. It's almost feeling divinely guided. So maybe at first, almost, okay, maybe what they're saying, hey, listen, I want to be with you, but maybe... We have our own little, we'll have a quiet little justice of peace. Maybe that's why we have the justice here. But I feel like it's like over this way. It's like, I want to do this. So this to me is, is showing me that someone is like taking someone to the side. This way, please. Um. Yeah, I feel like there's some kind of condition to something here. We have here revealed realize honest okay someone's going to reveal something to you you're going to realize they're being honest but i don't know if you're going to so like it so much but they are being honest and you're going to appreciate that and you're going to give them the res you know say okay i respect that you're being honest with me you're not you're telling me i have to do it this way this might be something too that maybe someone's saying we can get married but because of whatever circumstances they have going on here that um my financial advisor or my lawyer or somebody said let's let's start it this way the wedding this way this marriage this way and then we can it's almost like we have to gradually do this i don't know if that makes sense okay let's see so let me let i want to look into this person a little more what is the scope on this person? What's the story? What don't you see? Let's see what you don't see. What aren't they showing you? What you don't know? Okay. So we have here the Eight of Pentacles. Something about their work. They're not telling you something about their work. You might know about their work, but you don't know about their work. You know what I mean? You don't really know exactly what they do. There might be some stuff that they have to do here. Is this a family business or something? Looks like maybe a family business, but maybe there's stuff that has to be kept secret. Hmm. So we have here the moon. Yeah, look at that. The moon. There's secrets here. There's something that they're not telling you about their work, about what they do. They're keeping a secret. They might be trying to protect you. And we have here the Five of Wands. Yeah, I think they're trying to, they're fighting off something here. They're keeping, I think they're trying to keep things away from you. There's things that they deal with that they don't want you to have to deal with. Look at this five of wands, how they're shooing away the, the birds here. They're like, get away from our crops. I'm sh they're shooing you away, you know. And that's what, they're trying to keep you safe somehow. Whatever that might mean. If you know what that means. Or it's like, you know, some things you're bit off not knowing. I'm getting told, you don't, you don't really want to know what's in my world. But... They want you in their world. So if they're taking you in their world, you better, you know, you better know more about what they're dragging you into. Because there might be something here that maybe they're saying they're protecting you. They don't want you to know. But you're still, if you're married to them, you might be legally also connected to this and be responsible, even if you don't know what's going on. 
Oh, all right. Okay. Can, um, can you tell us any more about this? Can I get some more on this? Tell us what they're actually doing. What we need to worry about here. The Six of Swords. Moving away from something. Hmm. This is very strange, this card here. Okay, so there, there might be some kind of gambling or some kind of... Is there some kind of illegal activity going on in the business? Like, could this be like a... You know, like they used to have rooms, like they probably still do, where there's a room that they have like a restaurant off to the side where they actually have a gambling going on, but no one knows about it. There's something... There's a gamble here. and But it's also, I think this person... Six of Swords is moving away from something. And I don't feel like it's moving away. I feel like it's keeping you away. Keeping for your own. They're looking at. They're protecting you. But I don't know. Because you still might be dragged into this. Oof. Okay. Okay. What is this person's intentions? Let's go with there. What are their intentions with you? The Six of Cups, they have memories. Memories of the past. They think about you a lot. And we have here, this is the Four of Swords. They're trying to figure out a way to heal something here with you. And we have the Lovers. This is their intentions to come back to the, whatever you did in the past here. Bring it back around to heal a situation so that you could be in union here, a partnership. This wanted to cut, so let's see where we're cutting here. We have here the strength card and we have the knight of cups. They're trying to get the strength to come towards you and express themselves. Not happening yet, though. Okay. Uh, for the heck of it, I know I'm, I'm tapping into their energy, but I want to know because maybe I'm going to ask how you feel about them because you might be thinking one thing and you might, there might be something that you're not realizing you're actually thinking or feeling about them because maybe you're, you're trying to suppress it. So let's see what you actually in, really, really, really think about this person. Let's see. What do you really, really think about them? Okay, so you have the two of swords. You're uncertain about them. You, you can't, you feel like you're in the dark. And you're, like, look at this person here. They're over there. They're going to shoot the dart, but they're blindfolded. So you're taking a shot, but a shot at what? You're, they do leave you out in the dark. That's what it is. You know they, you know that. Okay. So you're undecided because they don't open up. They don't let you know things. And it's a little, um... Yeah, it's a little disturbing, I would say. And then we have here the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you don't know what they're hiding. It, it's like they're hiding. You know they're hiding something. And this is about their, their um, hang on, I got to call. Okay. So, look at this. They're at the table, right? Now, this person's over there. Okay, let's, let's put everything on the table. <laughs> now... I feel like you might put everything on the table. They're, they're holding something back. And they're looking like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I tell them or shouldn't I? And this is about maybe something about their independence or their dependence. There's something that's not being told. I think you feel it. You surmise it. But you're not sure what it is. Exactly. So we have here the Knight of Swords. You feel this person can be a little bit impulsive at times. They might um, sometimes act without thinking or they might get a little aggressive. Look at this here. This person, they're going to throw the dart, right? And there's someone hanging on to like, no, 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 don't do it. No, 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 don't do it. So it won't feel like you don't know when this person is going to do something or when they're not going to do something. It's like they have a very... Um, they might all of a sudden decide to do something and just do it. 
It's like, whoa, did you think think that through? <laughs> okay, let's see about this Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have okay. We have the Clipper. Maybe about cutting off something here. This person could actually maybe they're doing some yard work or something at this time, or they might be doing a little trimming, clipping something, removing something, clearing their way on something. Let me get the um, words on this. So we have thinking, truth, confused. Okay. Well, here you have the Two of Swords, and that is, you know, there's some confusion here. So, and you have the single energy, but you're not sure what they're holding back. So, it makes sense. You're thinking that you're kind of confused about what the truth really is. There's something you don't know. Okay, I'm going to ask what you might find out soon. What you might find out soon. Let's see. Is there something you might find out soon? The Emperor. Ooh, something about someone's power or control. You might find out something about that. Aries energy. Maybe someone that's really pulling the strings or someone who has control over this person. We have here the Chariot and the Page of Cups. Uh, some kind of fast move. Something's coming towards you fast. This person's coming in with an offer. But you might find out something about the whoever's controlling this. Who has control. Page of Cups. Offer apology. Come in quick though. Chariot. Cancer energy. We have here. This person wants to come in and fix it. Mend things. Probably put the missing pieces together for you. I don't think you'll ever really totally trust them though. Wait, let's see. Okay, so we have separate, break up, apart. Yeah, so there, you guys are separated right now. There was some kind of breakup that have you apart, but they want to come back in here. All right, I'm going to do advice for you. What is the advice for you? What does the spirit want to tell you? What kind of advice do we have here? We have here the third, the third... Wow, the third. What's the third mean to you? It might be the date. It might be a month or something. I. It's supposed to be the three of pentacles, but I said the third. Okay, so here's something about collaboration here. Okay, that is. Look at that. That this card was coming up and it fell back down. This person might be drinking. A lot of emotions here. The person has a lot of emotions, but they might be right now drinking or doing something. Oh, okay, let's see. What's that? It's Again, it showed and it wanted to hide itself. So what is it? The Nine of Cups. I think this person thinks of you as a wish fulfillment. They're not really expressing it, though. They have a lot of feelings. I don't think they really express it as much. It's, there's owl here. There's wisdom coming at night maybe you might be learning something here and it might this person might actually reach out to you at night but it's giving you a little warning that they might have a couple of drinks or something to have the courage to do this to open up a little bit okay let me see not the word okay so we have freedom expose love oh so i think you know this is saying that the person wants to collaborate with you they're, the advice is telling you that they, they might come in and there's some this love is going to be exposed and once it does then they get the freedom but until it does they, they don't have the freedom it almost feels like this person feels to me like they're waiting for this to happen they're not instigating it they're not initiating anything they're waiting but they're hoping okay let's see about the possible outcome what's the possible outcome for you guys So we have here the Two of Pentacles. Okay, this is multitasking, decision time. Um, it also could be a bartering type of energy coming in. And we have here the Magician and the Seven of Cups. Manifesting, there's options coming in for you. 
I feel like you are working on things. You're collaborating with people or you're trying to multitask. You're doing several things, but it's bringing in many options. Now, this could be love. This could be business. But there, you have all the tools you need to manifest something here. So you are manifesting something. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me clar clarify this seven of cups. This is confusion. This is options, choices. Okay, so we have the ten of swords. Ooh. So there's options and choices, but it brings with these options and choices something might come to an end. So what we don't see is the five of swords. The five of swords is all it's always someone trying to do something here. Some something going on behind someone's back. But look, someone feels like they're taking care of it. Maybe they're disposing of the problem. Removing it. Which I think is like might be your person. They're removing a problem, a situation. Okay, I want to get some more cards. Just to see what we get here. More on this outcome. Please give us more on the outcome here. For Capricorn, what is the outcome? So we have prison. Someone is feeling stuck in their head and or this could be someone actually going to prison. There might be someone that has to do some time or it might be just someone is stuck in their head. This could be someone being depressed or being stuck in their feelings, stuck in their thoughts. We have a thief. So this could be that you might find out that someone actually gets caught for stealing and they're going to prison. A journey. It might be someplace that they might be sending this person someplace not, that's not close. Someone, you know, might be, you know, to another state or something. Going on a journey, going on a trip. It's a good gentleman. There's a good gentleman involved in this. Okay, maybe some, something's happening. This person involved. Maybe they're a good gentleman. Maybe they found out that someone was not doing something. Someone was stealing from them, and they might be sending them away. Let me see what's bottom. We have a military person involved. Yeah, it feels like there's someone is involved in some kind of situation that we have the military, an official person, someone over here taking care of things. It's like you know disposing of stuff here people things i don't know if that makes sense to you take if it resonate leave it doesn't got really interesting on the bottom here at the end that's whatever that means you might know what it means i don't know <laughs> it'll be different for everyone and it might be for you might not i'll put the cards right here let's see what um, signs you could be dealing with placement your chart placement other people chart past present and future let's see what we get we got two together here. We have a Taurus with the Leo underneath. Okay. And we have Taurus again. Capricorn. Gemini. Libra. In the bottom of the deck, we have Pisces. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, future, Taurus, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, and Pisces. Okay, so now we'll do the letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have K, A, B O Kaboo <laughs> Kabop <laughs> B <laughs> J L H N K Q 
Okay, the letters we have for you today are K A B O P J L H N K Q. All right, guys, so those are the letters. So remember, these are not personal readings, they're general readings. Just take the parts that resonate, leave the parts that don't. Uh, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your um, donations, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.